Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some egg rolls. First of all, we're going to start off with prep. Here I'm using some rice vermicelli noodles. You can find this in any of the grocery stores, but you can also use any other type of noodles. Place your noodles in a large mixing bowl and cover it with very hot water. Let the noodles sit for 5 to 7 minutes and spread it out with a fork so that it doesn't stick together. Now it's time to prep your vegetables. Here I have half a cabbage, one onion, four green chilies, two carrots and some coriander leaves. Here I have eight ounces of brown mushrooms, but you could also use white mushrooms. Now it's time to slice about four cups of your green cabbage. It may seem like there's a lot of cabbage, but it will provide a lot of moisture for the egg rolls, yet it will also shrink once you cook it. Now it's time to thinly slice your brown mushrooms, and yes, you could wash it in case there's any dirt or anything else on it. Now it's time to thinly slice one medium onion or half of a large onion. Now it's time to grate your medium sized carrots. Here if you're wondering, I've washed my carrots and peeled the skin off. Alright, now it's time to check back on your noodles. It's been 5 to 7 minutes and I've rinsed and put them in a colander so that the water can drain out. After that, you want to start cutting your noodles in 1 inch pieces. And that's all your preparation done. Now place a broad pan on medium heat and pour in 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Now it's time to add in your half kg minced beef or around 2 cups. Break down the beef in the pan with a spatula and saute it until it's cooked through. Now stir in half a teaspoon of salt and 1 teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste. Once your beef has fully cooked through, you're ready to take it off the heat. Now in a different pan, pour in 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Now pour in 1 chopped onion on one side of the pan. On the other side, pour in your chopped mushrooms. And in the remaining space, pour in your shredded carrot. Saute them for 5 to 6 minutes, stirring frequently or until they are soft. You don't want your vegetables to be brown because you still want them to retain their moisture. Once your vegetables have been softened, pour in 4 cups of your green cabbage. Now saute the cabbage for 1.5 to 2 minutes. Once again, pour in 1 teaspoon of salt. Now this is optional, but you can pour in 1 teaspoon of red chili flakes. This is so that the filling has a spicy flavour to it. Now you can take the mixture off the heat and pour it into a mixing bowl with your noodles and your minced beef. 
It's important to have a good filling, so pour in half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper or a little bit more, two tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of sesame oil. Now at this stage you can pour in your chopped green chilies and your sliced coriander leaves. Now start to mix your mixture by folding it over and under each other. In addition to having a good filling, you also need a good wrapper. Here I'm using the TYJ spring roll pastry. You can find this in any Asian store in the freezer section. Now take the sheets out of its packaging and cover it with a damp towel for one hour at room temperature. After that it has softened or been an hour, you can start separating the sheets from each other. Make sure to cover it once again with the damp towel so that the sheets don't harden. Place the flat sheet on your cutting board in a diamond shape. It's important to have the right amount of filling, so here I've used 1 fourth cup. I'm going to fold the corner underneath the filling and tuck it. I'm going to roll it towards the front and fold the sides on top of it. Once you have folded the sides on top of the egg roll, roll it to the other end. Leave a little opening and brush it with some beaten egg. And then roll it up to seal the roll. Let's make another one, so pour in 1 fourth cup of the filling. Take the end and tuck it underneath the filling. Make sure that you tightly roll it so that it is secure. Fold the sides on the top. And roll it to the other end. Brush on some of your beaten egg. And tightly seal the egg roll. Once you've finished making the egg rolls, cover it with cling wrap. Now it's time to start frying your egg rolls. Fry your egg rolls over medium heat for around 5 minutes. Fry your egg rolls in several batches so that the pan doesn't overcrowd and so that the temperature doesn't drop. Once you've done frying your egg rolls, you can transfer them to a plate covered with tissue paper so you can wipe away the excess oil or transfer them to a wide rack so they can cool for 15 minutes. Now you're done cooking your egg rolls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe, like and share if you did. Also, make sure to follow my Instagram account and my Facebook page so that you can be updated whenever I post a new video. Thank you for watching again and goodbye.